You can take this story as a cautionary tale, because that one time I took something from someone without asking for permission, it turned my life upside down. I was eight years old when this happened. I've always been an active kid, hence I got into trouble quite easily. One day I went to play in the city park with my friends. We were playing in the jungle gym. Everyone was trying to hold on as long as they could. I was hanging on it for a long time and out of overconfidence, tried to pull off some stunts. My hands eventually slipped and I fell on the hard ground, fracturing my leg. I was admitted to the hospital immediately and that's where I met Sam. Sam was another kid similar to my age. He was really sick and often went to surgeries every two days. His parents used to come and cry sitting in front of his bed. Sam never talked to anyone. His bed was right next to mine. Sometimes in the middle of the night, I woke up hearing his heavy breathing. I could tell his health was deteriorating rapidly. One day, Sam fell very sick, and he was taken to the ICU. While he was away, I noticed a bunch of Happy Meal toys under his pillow. I was just a kid and kind of wanted that collection. The next day, I was about to be discharged from the hospital, so I secretly put his collection in my backpack with my other stuff. I was deeply asleep when I felt someone standing near my bed. I saw with my sleepy eyes that it was Sam. I woke up frantically saying, Hey Sam, you scared me. How long have you been standing there? He didn't reply to me. There was something different with Sam. His face was pale, and his eyes were like a dead fish. I said again, So, you've been discharged from the ICU, huh? I want my toys back. Now, I was all nervous about this awkward confrontation. I knew he would realize after coming back, but I was hoping he would find out after I left the hospital. I wanted to keep the toys and if I returned them now, it would directly prove that I stole them. So I denied it to his face. What toys are you talking about, Sam? My Happy Meal toys from McDonald's. You took them last night. They're in your backpack. Sam spoke as if he saw me doing all of this. His accuracy kind of disturbed me, but I was adamant as well. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't take your toys. Suddenly, Sam's face started to change. His eyes got wide and furious. He looked at me like a hungry wolf and said, I want my toys back. I want them back. He then opened his mouth and his jaw started to expand horrifyingly. I screamed in fear and woke up on my bed, drenched in sweat. Were you having a bad dream, Paul? I saw a nurse standing near my bed. I looked outside the window and realized that it was morning. Was it all a dream? But it felt so real. I looked at Sam's bed and found it empty. Are you looking for your friend? We weren't friends. Oh, that's too bad. Your parents will be here soon to take you home. Um, sister? The nurse was walking away. Hearing my voice, she turned back and said, Yes? Do you need something? How is Sam doing? Oh, well, he's in a better place now. May God bless his soul. The nurse left and I realized that Sam was no more. On the way home, I heard my parents talking about Sam and feeling sorry for him and his parents. Sam passed away at around 8 o'clock last night. I felt goosebumps thinking I dreamt of a dead boy in the middle of the night. I looked inside my backpack. Sam's Happy Meal toys were still there. I didn't tell anyone about all this. A week passed by and things got back to normal. Every weekend, my parents took me to the mall. We watched a movie and ate junk food. One weekend, after spending fun time at the mall, my dad took us to eat at McDonald's. I just took a bite of a cheeseburger when my eyes went to the last table in the corner. What I saw ran a cold shiver down my spine. It was Sam. He was sitting at the corner table wearing the hospital outfit on which I saw him last time. 
His eyes were blood red and filled with anger. He opened his hollow mouth and said something, but I couldn't hear his voice. Judging by the movement of his lips, I could tell he was repeating one line over and over again. I was becoming numb with fear. Paul? Paul, are you alright, honey? My mom's worried voice set me free from that frozen hell. I got back to my senses and tried my best to hide my fear. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine, Mom. When I looked at the table again, I found it empty. No one was there. I somehow finished my food and we got up to leave for home. My mom and dad were walking in front of me. We were near the exit door when I saw a guy dressed as Ronald McDonald giving balloons to every kid. When my turn came, he crouched down and handed me a blue colored balloon. I smiled and said thank you. He got extremely close to my face and said, Sam wants his Happy Meal toys back. I screamed and ran to my dad. For a moment, everyone around got shocked. My dad asked me, What happened, Paul? Did he scare you? I looked back at the guy, but he even looked terrified with my reaction. He said in a nervous voice, I don't know what happened, sir. Your kid got scared on his own and screamed in my face. I started to realize that Sam's ghost was haunting me because I took his toys. But what can I do now? He's dead. Can someone come back from the dead to haunt a living person? Do ghosts really exist? I caught a high fever after coming home that night. My parents thought the guy dressed as Ronald McDonald scared me, but only if they knew the truth. I might have passed away with a high fever, hence I don't remember what happened after we reached home. I woke up past midnight hearing a thunder crack. A heavy storm was going on outside. I could see a flash of lightning reflecting on my room walls. I understood I was lying on my bed. My eyes took some time to adjust to the darkness. I checked the corners of my room with scared eyes. I felt Sam's ghost will emerge from those dark corners to scare me to sleep once again. But there was no one. I breathed a sigh of relief, thinking that I was imagining all of this and none of these incidents were actually happening in real life. I picked up the glass of water I kept near my bed to take a sip. I took the first sip and calmed down a bit. Then I went to take a second sip, just when a drop of something fell in my glass. In that flash of lightning, I saw the water changing into a red color. I immediately looked up and saw Sam was lying on the ceiling, staring at me with a devilish grin. He was looking like a creature from another world. Half of his face was rotten with maggots crawling on the surface. He opened his black, hollow mouth and said in a demonic voice, I want my toys back! Those are my Happy Meals! Before I could say something, he jumped on me from the ceiling and vomited a pool of blood on my face. I screamed at the top of my lungs. My parents rushed to my room and I hugged my dad and cried for an hour. My parents slept in my room that night. The next morning when I woke up, I told them everything. I don't think they believed a dead kid's ghost was haunting me, but they took me to Sam's house and made me apologize to his parents for stealing his toys. When I returned those Happy Meal toys to Sam's mom, she said in a sobbing voice, These were Sam's favorite toys. He loved eating at McDonald's just to collect this toy. After that day, I never saw Sam again.